Hey everybody, so I'm in San Francisco and I'm freezing my butt off. Um, drinking some nice hot tea and I figured this would be a good time to um, answer those Q&A questions that I asked you guys for a couple of weeks ago and haven't really gotten around to answering them. So I figured this might be a good time. Um, <laughs> Spoiler, spoiler alert, these are actually uh, a lot geared towards um, parking in the city. So uh, yeah, I figured I might go through those. So the first one is from Eccentric Nomad. And the question is, um, the question most people ask is how I find places to stay, what to look for, how to know you're in a safe spot, etc. even though you don't stay in a van or stay in the city as much anymore. I would like your take on how you find spots to overnight. I think that info would be helpful for a lot of van dwellers starting out and are still working age. Um, cool, so. Let me just start off by saying that I've been in San Francisco for about six months now. Um, partly because I'm working, well, yeah, basically because I'm working. Um, the way, so <laughs> that's kind of a big question. Um, the way that I kind of find spots, I guess a few tips that I would have is to find um, apartment areas, because uh, usually, you know, people, not everybody in the neighborhood really knows each other, so it's kind of easier um, to find spots. Um, or uh, another tip would be kind of like more industrial areas, or just like uh, where there's a lot of businesses and not quite so residential because uh, usually at night parking is easier um, and then in the day I'll move and park somewhere else um, but yeah those are kind of like my first or like my few like bare bones tips on like finding a spot in the city um, definitely don't stay anywhere fancy but also don't stay anywhere that seems really sketch balls. Um, honestly, I find a lot of my spots by seeing if there's other vans there. Um, kind of makes me feel like it's okay to have other vans or to park there, or at least you won't get bothered or um, told to leave or anything like that. So, um, but on that same token, I also try to not be like right up in the thick of like a huge group of RVs and vans, um, just because. Yeah, just no, that's, I don't know. It doesn't make me feel very safe, um, especially if I don't know those people. And typically a lot of the people that I have seen, not met, um, have been definitely looking more on like the hard knocks side of life. So um, not saying that they would be bad people, but um, just from for my own safety and well-being um, or just feeling like I'm more safe, I guess. Um, I don't generally uh, try to hang out with the locals <laughs> as far as van people. Um, or, and I also don't really make it known uh, that like I don't come in and out of the van a lot or anything like that at, pers at places that I'm staying overnight. So. Those are kind of just my overview tips there. Um, and then she also had a second question. When you don't stay in the city, how far out do you stay? And do you come back in the city for work every day or no? Um, so that one's kind of tough to ask um, or to answer. Uh, I guess for starters, um, I've I've gone out pretty far. Um, I I typically am kind of more in rural areas um last last summer i was actually up in the the high sierra all summer so i wasn't uh i was working at a backpackers resort up there so it was definitely like much farther out of the city um the pay was you know i think it it was like around minimum wage or something like that but um but it was worth it for me because I got to be out in the mountains the whole time and uh, um, do a lot of backpacking and stuff like that. So, so that part of the question, I've been real far out plenty of times. Um, 
the other part of that question is, uh, do like how far out do I stay and do I come back into the city for work every day or something like that. Um, right now I am currently working in the city, um, but that's not always the case. Most of the time my work is remote. So, um, or my clients are remote, so I can work from anywhere, and I usually tend to be in the more rural areas. Um, but I do come to the city sometimes, just, you know, because it's easier, at, um, as far as internet and stuff like that. Um, and to visit friends, because I used to live in San Francisco, um, and in LA, so sometimes I go and visit LA. Um, so... Yeah, um, but as far as right now, I'm not really doing a commute so much. Um, I usually stay in the city during the week, and then uh, on the weekends I try to get out um, out of the city when I can. Uh, not always, but most of the time I do try to get out into nature and stuff like that. Um, okay, so anyway, if that wasn't convoluted enough... Um, Fernway Vassalando, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that, um, asked, which do you prefer, urban or rural, and why? Um, I think I prefer rural better, um, but it's a hard question to, I don't know. Um, a lot of my work, as far as, like, my main source of income is, uh, I need the internet for it, so it's much easier to get that in cities, so I like that. I also think that there's a lot of fun stuff to do in the city, and you know, like I said, I have friends up in San Francisco, and I have friends in LA, so, um, and you know, I like going to shows, like music, I like to see live music play, and stuff like that, so um, for those kinds of things, like the city's awesome, but I also like to be, uh, you know, out in nature, um, I feel like in the van, um, that's sort of why I moved into the van, so that I could do that, and I feel like, uh, being in the city, I'm a lot more, like, closed in, uh, I have to, like, stay in the van, and don't have my door open, and, you know, can't just, like, hang out, or I don't feel like I can just hang out, um, whereas, you know, being out in nature, I kind of can just be, I keep saying out in nature, like, it's like the trendy thing to do now, is be out in nature. Um, no, but just, I mean, you know, I like being out in the desert on BLM land, um, out in the forest. Um, it's good, uh, good time, a good time for me to kind of, like, reflect on things and, um, I don't know, those kinds of memories are, like, more meaningful to me, I guess, than... Not that, oh my gosh, now I'm just going down a rabbit hole. Um, I prefer rural. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, I like those experiences. Um, I guess ideally it would be a combo of both because really I'm all about all types of experiences. So, um, yeah, having a good, um, balance, I guess, of both, like, being out in the boonies and being in the city is kind of perfect. Anyway, that was a terrible answer, but um, all right. So Denise two ninety seven Ruby asked, "Where, where can I park in a van to stay the night so they don't catch me in San Francisco?" Um, and then she also said, "Golden Gate Park on side." Um, so yeah, I mean. Okay, so I've been in San Francisco right now in my van for about six months and I haven't had any problems with the police, um, if that's who you mean by they <laughs> in that statement. Um, yeah, I've never had any problems with police. Um, I also, you know, as long as you follow those tips, um, I don't think that you should have a problem. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Golden Gate Park is a great place to park. Um, I don't typically park there a lot just because it's busy streets, so you get traffic. It's busy streets on both sides of the park, so um, yeah, it's just 
you get a lot of traffic all the time. So even at night, it's still kind of busy. Uh, so you're definitely falling asleep late if you're a light sleeper, which I feel like most people are when they're living in a van. Um, yeah, you're definitely uh, going to sleep late and waking up pretty freaking early. Um, that being said, it's great to be camped there and there's a ton of people that do it so it's totally like a great place to park and cops aren't gonna bother you as long as you're not you know being like some kind of a crazy person and doing all kinds of weird shit outside or something but even then I still don't see the cops sometimes so <laughs> so there's that um, three at one hero asked uh, what are the laws for sleeping in your van in the Bay Area that is a great question glad you asked. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> no, um, I'm pretty sure that the laws are, um, it's technically legal to sleep in your vehicle at night, given, um, certain, like, areas, I guess. So, technically, overall, in the state of California, it's legal. Um, that being said, there are neighborhoods um, or streets that have um, explicit signage that says no overnight, um, no overnight camping, or uh, no uh, habitation in vehicles between this time and this time. So, you know, those are kind of like the laws for those areas, and you could be subject to a fine or towed or arrested if you give the cops help you know things like that um also that being said <laughs> um sometimes those things aren't quite as regulated so just kind of like pay attention to the area um always err on the side of caution if you're um concerned about an area like that but i mean i've seen places where um you know, it says, like, no overnight camping, and there's, like, five other vans on the, on that road or something, so, you know, I might try it for a night if I'm tired or whatever, um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's technically legal to live, or to sleep in your vehicle at night in California, in the state of California, but there are certain areas that, don't want you to do that and I've also um, visited friends like not in San Francisco but um, in another town I don't know some kind of beachy town um, in California um, where like the neighborhood I was in uh, they like really like they freaking came and knocked on my door and were like what are you doing and all this stuff and basically told us like to leave um I was with somebody else at the time and uh yeah so like and that's like totally legal for them to do well I don't know if it's legal but it's definitely something that they will hassle you for and give you a fine for and um if it's not legal for them to do that I'm sure they'll make up something about it so definitely just kind of be aware of your surroundings and be aware of the signage for that area and just kind of you know follow the rules um but also know when to break the rules okay anyway um so last question is from rambling babe uh the only question i have is the one no one wants to give away where do you park your van to sleep at night? Um, so that is a tough one. Uh, it's not really a tough one. I'm just not going to answer it. Um, somebody made a comment to that question saying like, oh yeah, well, you know, I'm going to tell you where I sleep at night and, you know, burn out my spot. So yeah, that's part of it. Um, kind of. I mean, I don't know. Like, the way I kind of find my spots is seeing other vans parking there at least or at least like a few vans parking in an area or something so um I'm not so much worried about that and I'm happy to help other people find um spots and give them tips and stuff like that um but it's also more like a safety thing for me 
um, I, you know, it's kind of like I tell you where I park at night. That's kind of like giving you my address or posting my address publicly for everybody to know where I live. Um, to me, I don't feel like that's uh, smart on my own personal safety and security. Um, maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think that's really the main reason why. I wouldn't want to post um, where I'm staying. I mean, it's, you know, it's one thing if I'm, I don't know. It's one thing if I'm, like, in a rural area and I'm like, hey, guys, like, I'm out here and come hang out and stuff like that. Um, it's another when I'm in the city and uh, there's already a lot, like, of other things that I'm, like, trying to... Uh, monitor or like uh just be weary of and um yeah i don't know it's just i don't i don't think i really need to explain that deeper than that so um anyway so that's all the questions um that you guys gave me thank you guys so much for um asking me all these questions and uh wanting to hear an answer from from uh from little old me <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, I think, you know, a lot of these have kind of been geared towards, like, the, the sleeping and parking at night thing in the city, so I think I might want to do a more in-depth video on, um, you know, just good tips and tricks on how to find a spot in the city, um, because I think that might be helpful for a lot of people. So, if there's any more questions, um, regarding that topic, Go ahead and leave them in the comments below, or if you just have any other questions, um, I'm actually really surprised not a lot of people ask me a wide range of questions, um, like bathroom or showers or anything like that, but, um, yeah, if you have any other questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below, um, but yeah, again, thank you so much, and, uh, don't forget to subscribe, and yeah i don't know how to end these things sometimes anyway um all right you guys have a good night take care and i'll see you out on the road okay don't forget to subscribe thanks bye